what's up my gangsters um yeah i don't know what that was about but uh today we're gonna do some um hopefully some java we'll get into i want our app to be a little more professional so we're going to create a splash screen which is basically like your logo or whatever you want to appear for the first few seconds before it goes to your main menu app or activity so basically what i did i made another picture i imported it into my drawable um, the other thing we're going to do is we want to create a sound for the app. So you want to create a new folder to hold your sounds. And we're going to call, uh, you want to call this folder your RAR folder. Um, that will just hold your audio. And uh, there you go. Should be right here. This is going to be the noise that plays during that splash. All right. And then we should be good to go. Clean project. And the other thing we want to do is uh, this splash. We want to actually do some XML in here. Won't be anything uh, too new, except for we're going to create it'll be an image view. It could be your image uh, just displayed on the screen. Android source equals drawable. And then um, your your reference or whatever you named your picture. So mine is Corn Boys logo. And again, we just want to fill the whole screen. So uh, that should be good to go. Not for sure why I'm getting an error. Oh, yeah, we just have to close out our our image view, and we'll just check, make sure that looks pretty. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. That's the image I created. Yours should be whatever image you just created. And now we're going to get into a little bit of Java today. Here's your package name. That'll be for every activity that you create. These imports are, like I mentioned earlier, you can use methods from these, uh, these classes that Android has developed for you. And we'll get to the different imports that you can use a little bit later. Uh, we're just going to minimize that. And what you want to do is you want to establish a class. This next line is basically telling us uh, we are creating a public class. Public, you'll be able to access this from other classes or other activities as well. And we named our class my main. This extends is saying that we are extending the superclass activities so we can use all the methods in the activity class uh, which we'll get to um, when I highlight this on create is coming from this activity anytime you want to use a method from the activity class which we extended is you have to overwrite it so you just hit at override um, and this should be set up for you this is what yours should look like you might have splash here um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that and uh, the next line here these these are the methods uh, this is going to be the method on create so when you use the on create method basically everything that happens within these brackets is gonna gonna happen when the app is created or the activity is created I should say Whenever you use a method, method name, it will be and some brackets. This will basically tell you that this is going to be a method that you're going to be using. Within these brackets, you can set parameters. And in this case, uh, it is setting up the bu uh, bundle. And I'm just going to go over this real quickly and not explain a whole lot. Um, a lot of this stuff you will learn as you go. Um, the more and more you use it, the more and more you'll understand it. I'm just going to give you um, a brief play-by-play -play for what this means so far. And once we get into uh, programming, I'll explain a little more in depth. But just as for now, I'm just going to go over the stuff real quickly. But it's okay if you don't understand it all right now, because I want to expect you to. And this super is just saying, yeah, I want to use the onCreate method from the superclass. The superclass is what we extended. This is creating a bundle. So basically on the create it takes within its parameters a bundle. 
When you use the onCreate, it takes a bundle as its parameter. So we have to define the bundle um, by saying, hey, I want a bundle called saved instance state. We can change this to whatever we want. We're going to call it Travis is awesome. Then once you go within the brackets, you should notice that this has been established as an error. Basically, it's saying on create this, which we haven't created. We haven't created this bundle yet. So uh, this is the bundle that we just created. So we're going to change this parameter to Travis is awesome again. And you have to type Travis is awesome. Otherwise, it won't work. So make sure you do that. And then basically this is saying set content view our layout splash. Again, this is just referencing our um, resources here and going to the layouts and going to the splash XML. The next thing we need to do is create some variables because every program needs variables to run off of. So uh, and we've already created a, a, a variable actually, a bundle variable, but there are many different types of variables that you can create. And before we've uh, kind of created variables with this strings reference. So basically string uh, variables that you can create. We're going to create a string variable. A string is basically a word um, that we've used before in our resource folder but we're going to create it actually in Java so we want to create a string and we're going to call it whatever you want uh, we're just going to call it words and we set words equal to whatever you want it to say uh, this will basically be the value as if we used uh, the string XML so this is going to be the value and we're just going to say this is uh, the value of the reference string or words sorry every time we call words it's going to use this as its value okay another very useful uh, variable that you're going to need is integers and integers are just numbers whole numbers like one two three four uh, like that so and um, we're going to use this as the defining just like we said this is a string we're going to say this is an integer to reference we're going to call numbers and so every time we call numbers we want it to equal 1234 and you always want to end your statements with um, semicolon and another one we want to use is like an on off switch and those are called a boolean and this will be basically be like true or false so we're going to say uh, we're just going to say light switch because it's either on or off true or false and we want to set it to uh, false just to start with it, it can't be set as a uh, as a number or anything because you'll get I think you'll get an error yeah, because it, this isn't like a true false statement. So we're just going to say uh, false. Other, other ways to reference numbers are by short. And this would be a small number. And that's what we're going to call it. And we're going to call it 14. I'm, I'll, put the, I'll put the exact amount, the range of numbers that you can use for a short and for a long as well because a long can be longer numbers so those are some of the basic references that you can use for defining variables so basically you just have to remember when you make variables you have to say the variable name that you're going to use later when you program but uh, you also have to say hey I want this variable name to either be a number or a, a string or a yes or a no or a false true whatever um, you have to tell the computer you have to define what the variable will be and then you set it equal to your value